Right, I'm here today to install this uh, gyro uh, priority priority board for this install that I did before Christmas. I first fixed it. They've got electric shower on the first floor and they've got a new electric shower going in at our, in the rear extension. Um, so I think eventually the top floor one's going to be a, uh, off the boiler, um, but not sure when it's going to be. I mean, if you can't follow a diagram, you're a fucking idiot. So I'm going to take out the shower supply, the existing one, um, and extend that cable to the garrow ball, which is going to go here. And I'm going to replace that RCBO with an MCB somewhere. So a new 40 amp MCB. I'm going to supply the garrow board. Supply terminals to the bottom. Yeah. Outgoing cable. So shower one, which is going to be the main, so the shower that they use more, more often is going to be the main shower, which will be the upstairs one for now. Um, connected to terminal B of the shower relay. That's the shower relay, so oh yeah, pretty straightforward. So it's gonna be at the back there, shower shower A or the prior the, the main one, terminal B there. And then contact to terminal one for shower two. So contact to terminal one, there it is, at the back. You can't quite see that. Torch there. Contact to terminal terminal one will be the, the the second shower. So it'll always have power prioritize that shower connected into terminal B there, which will be the upstairs one. And when the time comes, or they want to use the other one, it's got to draw more than three kilowatt for it to operate. Uh, it'll, um, if that one's not being used, it'll energize this and send power to the second shower. So pretty straightforward. You can see, I can see some of the internal wiring. So they've got a little buzz bar across the top, which feeds the relay um, and feeds this contactor. Um, so yeah, I'm aware that they are being fitted more 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 frequently now. Um, so yeah, let's crack on and get it in. I'll probably put that about there and drill a 20 mil hole there and bring. This is a going to be shower number two. Bring that, bring that through the back of here. So that's one 20 mil hole there. I'll probably do maybe in the top. Maybe I'll bring the two six modes because there's going to be shower number one going to come in and the supply. The supply goes to the bottom there. Oh, where shall I go? I don't know where I should come. Maybe bring them. It's quite busy down below there. So I don't really want to go down. There's the isolator, the meter and the bond in and there's a second fuse board there. So I might go in the, I might come in the top. I might come along from this board, along and down with two six mils, one, two, and then have the third one well, in there. That's what I think I'll do. I thought about doing like conduit between them, but it's just too, it's too busy here. There's a, you see there's a transformer there. So I think I'll do stuff and blend. Um, we're at Harry Potter under the stairs covered. So I'm not too fussed about how pretty it's got to look, you know, realistically. It'd be lovely if I could conduit between, that'd be great. Um, but let's be realistic. So. Rear entry 20 mil hole, and I'll probably do. If I, I might put both the six mils in one, in in one stuffer. <gasps> oh my god! Clickbait time. <gasps> <laughs> Keyboard warriors below going. Fucking. <laughs> I'll probably stick them both in one, and then um, yeah. Wire it all up. So let me get this mounted and knockouts and stuff like that, and then we'll chat about. Next time you'll see this, it'll probably be almost completely terminated. So, see you in a sec. No, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even think about it. But obviously, I went, I put two six mils. I was going to extend the one, the old shower from in here. But as I went to pull it out, I realized it was that it was a six mil that was, that was running up the, up there, which is that one there. So I thought that's your fucking donut. So there's my supply and I'll put a clip in there. It looks a little bit weird right now, but I'll probably put a couple of clips in or something. Uh, the new supply is on the B40 MCB in there. Um, so that now supplies this uh, unit. Um, and then we got, 
hard to film one handed. Uh, so the supply comes in the bottom there, and then we've got shower number one, which is the old shower, which they want to keep using as the priority, as the one that's going to be used all the time, or first, uh, which is the old cable, which I put in. And then the new shower, shower number two is at the back, comes out of terminal number one. I'll go and terminate, make safe the other end, because I think I allowed for some white accessories, but I think they've changed their mind. They want um, chrome, so I'm going to just pop in some Wagos for now. Um, and um, uh, do a quick test on shower number two. And to be honest, I'll probably test shower number one just to check as well, because obviously now I've dicked around with it. Um, uh, and then we can power up and they won't actually have shower two going. So shower one, the one that they normally use upstairs will continue um, because they haven't got shower number two in yet. So it will just send power and it'll only change over when this one's not on and this one tries to pull. Um, when it gets put in more than three kilowatt but yeah let me go and get some wagos some clips and stuff and tidy neaten this all up and then uh yeah do a bit of testing right connected uh r1 and r2 together i've just stripped the uh cable for now um because i gotta have brushed plates on brushed chrome i think Two. 0.05. Cool. Insulation resistance, and then uh, do the same with shower two. Right, I've done the R one R two on both the showers. All perfect. So now I'm just going to do insulation resistance. I'll go to five hundred. Now, I don't know if you can see that, can I turn the light on? Hold the light on, yeah. So everything connected to the, well, my MET, or in this case, yeah, the MET of this um, enclosure. Let's uh, test and lock it on. Hold test and press the red padlock button to lock on the insulation resistance. I love that little trick. Um, See the light there. So incoming line and neutral, it's double pole uh, 61008. So I know going between neutral and the MET, I should get 999, get a, uh, a reading through the neutral and the CVC because of the earthen arrangement, which here we've got, uh, we've got a TNS. So we may not have got a reading, but when you, you do when you have like a PME or a TNCS. Anyway, neutral to CPC. Good, no, no, no. Now we're gonna go uh, CPC to the line of the new shower. Shower term number two. Uh, now line to CPC of the shower number one, the priority one. No, 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 wicked. Um, that's, our, that's all our outgoing ways. Neutral to line of the shower, uh, the new shower, shower number two. All good. There is a neon, I think. Yeah, there's a, on the old shower, um, there's a neon, um, like, pull cord, isolator thing, which is uh, why I've got the reading there. Um, I'll go turn it off and redo it. Right, shower number one, all good. Retested uh, with the pull cord off. I'm going to turn this board on. So now we have power here, and we're going to do a quick. Woo. Effectively, like a, a ZS. The R102 is 0, 0.00 from there to there. So effectively, we're going to do like a, a ZS or one of the ZSs for of this board here. Uh, let's, uh, here. Uh, it can be oh, it can be on too high because there's no RCD up front. This is 
first half CD. Zero point four six with a PEFC of four hundred ninety six amps. Cool. Um, connect that back in. Once I'm done, I'll go and do a ZS. Once it's powered up, I'll do a ZS of the uh, both the showers. Right, RCD. I can see it's a Type A. Both the, the two little symbol there. Uh, so make sure I'm on Type A. That's that's Type AC. That's Type A. And we'll do a quick RCD test. Slight interruption then. Um, phone call but let's quickly test the rcd one 18.7 9.5 now times five 18.3 7.7 quickly press the functional test happy days right Right, put the cover on um, and do some labelling. I put a bit of, uh, I put a couple of clips in, it's not pretty, but a couple of clips in on the top there. I put some fire sealant on the top there. Uh, now, I don't normally agree with it in the back of consumer units, but on these wanky MK square knockouts, someone just like smashed them to get the cables in. So um, I've just, oh, I just touched it again. Fucking hell. Um, so I put some fire sealant across the top there to seal the, uh, to keep the IP rating of the consumer unit. Right, I've done a little bit of labeling. I've still got to just label the inspection. Shower supplies, shower upstairs given priority. Not enough room, so I had to stick it on the side. And then in there, it's a, probably a bit over the top, but because the client's never gonna know what this is and it doesn't really do it. I've just, that's the relay supply. That, Technically, there's a shower upstairs, and then that is a shower downstairs. Obviously, that isn't really a spare. There's no actual buzzer there, but yeah, nice. It's a solution to a problem that we're gonna start seeing more of. I think, um, you know, with uh, the increased demand in people's houses, um, I think it's a good, it's a great solution. And the reason I fit it, I've probably got it in an earlier video, is that this is a, a 60 amp, a known 60 amp. Um, main incoming fuse. And they've already got electric shower, they've already got a cooker, and they want a second shower. Immediately the first shower is gonna be removed, but I'm not sure when. Um, so yeah, perfect solution. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, straightforward. <laughs> I don't know fucking else what more I can say. <laughs> Probably said too much as it is. All right, let's go.